Do you see this black dot right here? Oh, yeah. This affects your vision. It affects the left side of your body, your mm -hmm. coordination and your balance. How much will this go away? I don't believe the scars are ever going to go away. A new documentary called The Crash Reel is playing here. Um, we just premiered it at Sundance and also the X Games in the US. And this is our uh, third stop on the film. The people in it are amazing and you just want to watch them and find out what happens to them. And, um, and it's very emotional, very moving. It's got some very, very, very tragic and sad parts. It's got some very, very, very profoundly uplifting parts. And it's also incredibly watchable because it's set in this world of a beautiful um, action sports. And the incredible thing I think about the crash reel is you just go on this journey of a lifetime, the ride of a lifetime, as somebody says in the film, where we meet Kevin actually at 11 months old and we see him all the way up through to, 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 to being 25 years old, um, starting out with home movies and then moving into contest footage and the sport's really evolving before your eyes with these exact athletes. Nobody's sure what's possible. They're trying to figure it out using their own bodies to experiment on. So it's incredibly thrilling and dangerous time culminating in this uh, terrible um, life threatening, to say the least, accident. I mean, there was every, uh, every, at every stage, uh, Kevin could have lost his life. Medically and neurologically, you cannot afford to hit your head. Don't get me wrong, I really appreciate all the help I've gotten from doctors, but it comes to the point where I'm just ready to release from it all. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Enough's enough, and I feel like I'm coming to that point. And I feel like... Looking at you. What your family's been through. This is what you think about. You use your intelligence and your love to make good decisions. All he wants to do is snowboard and do dangerous you know, adrenaline sport stuff, which is what he's just always loved doing. Um, and yet his brain isn't telling him uh, how injured he is. You know, with a brain injury, one of the really challenging things about it is that your brain isn't necessarily giving you the information about how injured you are. So he still thinks he can go to the Olympics. He still thinks he can be on a snowboard again. And he's um, not pleased that his family are uh, holding him back, you know, whereas his family are seeing that he's, you know, in great, great danger. I think the conversation needs to start with what your plans are about riding on snow. How ready do you feel like you are to snowboard? If I feel 100% confident. Not us. Not you? Not everybody. It's calling a spade a spade, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> I just don't want to get down. My process is just honestly whatever I find interesting, think would make an interesting film. You know, film is a, such a difficult medium um, and it can't just be a great story. It has to be a great story that's going to work on film that you can kind of get access to the good bits that are going to make good scenes. And, um, and I guess some of my tricks are thinking about, you know, what's a really fascinating world and who are really fascinating people. So if there's a story with a character that you really want to follow in a world that's really intriguing. As you can see here, it was, uh, it was pretty bad, but I was lucky. 